Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to upload a CSV file to ChatGPT and use the content of that CSV file to do a full data analysis using the ChatGPT code interpreter plugin. Alright, so as I mentioned we're gonna use this code interpreter plugin to upload that CSV file. If you are not familiar with this code interpreter plugin, I have a full tutorial on my website outrightx.com where I talk about some of the use cases of this plugin and I also share some of the best prompts you can use this plugin with. So if you're interested in more details about this plugin, make sure to check out the link in the description below to access this free tutorial. And you can also get access to a complete database of all currently available ChatGPT plugins that can be installed from the ChatGPT plugin store. You can search this plugin database by category, plugin name, description, and get quick access to ChatGPT plugin video tutorials, the best use cases and prompts for all available ChatGPT plugins. The database can be downloaded for free, but you can also support the maintenance and the frequent updates of the database with a small donation. Any support is appreciated. You can get access to this database by using the link in the description below. Alright, so I have this CSV file that I downloaded from investing.com, which contains Bitcoin prices in the last three years, their open price, their high price, low price, the day-to-day -day change of the price and so on and so forth. So I want to upload this file to ChatGPT and do a basic data analysis on the Bitcoin price in the last three years. So to be able to do this, all we have to do is enable the code interpreter ChatGPT plugin. If you don't know how to do this, I have another tutorial on my YouTube channel that you can check out. But the important thing is that you have to have a plus subscription at the time of recording this video. And then you have to make sure the GPT-4 is selected and the code interpreter mode is selected from the drop down here. Then once the code interpreter plugin is enabled, we can upload a CSV file to ChatGPT. So all we have to do is click on this plus icon here and upload a file search for our CSV file we want to upload and click on open and as you can see the file has been uploaded instantly and we can add the prompt here what we want to do with this CSV file. So of course you can be really specific in your ChatGPT prompts so basically tell ChatGPT to do a regression analysis on this data set or predict the price of Bitcoin based on the three or last year's data but in this example I'm just going to be a very simple prompt. Can you make analysis based on the uploaded CSV5. So let's see what the plugin, the code importer plugin will come up with with the uploaded CSV file. So click on send message here. And as you can see, first it has loaded the file by inspecting its structure to see what kind of data they are dealing with. So as you can see, you don't have to use any kind of code or Python code or any fancy language function to interact with the code interpreter plugin. It can understand national language like this one. So first it gave us a brief overview of the data set. And then ChatGPT said we can proceed with the data analysis. Are there any specific question you're interested in or should I conduct a general analysis? And descriptive statistics, trends, correlation and volatility in Bitcoin prices. And I told ChatGPT to do all of these four. And first it did a descriptive statistical analysis. Then it also did a correlation matrix. So it was able to make the following observations. And it also did a plot of the historical prices of Bitcoin, but it cannot be seen right now. So I have to refresh the page to make sure the plots can be also seen. And yeah, as you can see, it has plotted the Bitcoin prices over time based on volatility here. So this is not the price charge, but the volatility chart. But here is the Bitcoin prices over time. So you can see Bitcoin mania here and the drop in price in 2022. And now it's increasing again. And of course, this is just a basic data analysis on the uploaded CSV file. But you can use more advanced, complex statistical prompts if you want to do a deeper analysis on the uploaded CSV file. But this was just an example on how to upload a CSV file to ChatGPT using the code interpreter plugin. As I mentioned, there are a ton of use cases for this code interpreter plugin. I have a ton of tutorials on this plugin on my YouTube channel. And I also have a ton of tutorials on other ChatGPT plugins that can be used also for data analysis, but also for business, finance, marketing, scientific research, web development, and a lot more. So make sure to check out my YouTube channel for more tutorials. And a lot of videos are coming up, so make sure to subscribe. And also, if you want to get access to the complete ChatGPT plugin database that includes categories, searchable descriptions, and more, you can also find the link to that in the video description below.